In the southwest of Ireland lives and works a Dutch tile maker, Ron van der Naal. He is one of a small select group of professionally trained ceramic painters who work in the Dutch Majolica style, a tradition that is centuries old. Tiles were produced in Europe as early as the 9th century. Their design was greatly influenced by the Islamic and Byzantium cultures. It was the Spanish who first introduced, in the 13th century, the distinct blue-coloured paint known as cobalt. At the end of the 16th century was it mode to follow the Spanish tradition within the walls to protect. Nederland was then something as a world power and there was a great need for the import of luxe articles such as platil tegels. Tegelijkertijd was er vanwege de enorme economische welvaart en een grote toename van immigratie, vooral van Italiaanse arbeiders die vaak geschoold waren in de keramische industrie. Onder de Italiaanse invloed werd de Duitse tijlindustrie geboren en de lokale tijlproductie flourished. Het is in deze traditie dat Ron werkt. Als template gebruikt de craftsman een antieke Duitse tijl. A lump of clay is shaped into a flat form. A piece of paper cut to the right size and a cloth bag filled with crushed charcoal is used to plot the dimensions of the new tile. After the tile is cut, it is laid out to dry. The dried tiles are placed in the kiln for their first firing, in which they are heated up to a temperature of nearly a thousand degrees Celsius. A process that can last up to a day and a half. Delft was the centre of the European ceramic industry. There were tientallen fabrieken in the city. There was hard work and everyone was always busy. They worked according to the guild system. There were different levels of fakmanship, beginning with the learning, the gezel, and finally the master's guild. And everyone had their own task in such a factory. The original antique design is meticulously copied with a pencil on a square of paper known as a poncif. Then, poles are pierced on the lines and the poncif is ready for use. The tiles are now ready to be glazed with tin glaze, a technique already known to the ancient Egyptians and Syrians. The craftsman uses the poncif and the bag with charcoal to transfer the traditional design onto the glaze. The tile is now ready for painting. It was the traditional practice in Delft that the different elements of the tile were painted by different craftsmen. Corner decorations were often painted by an apprentice, while the centre motif was painted by a more experienced painter. Each brush the craftsman uses has a particular function and name. Some of his brushes are nearly 30 years in use. To solidify the paint and glaze, the tiles are fired one more time. Uh, er was een intensieve handel met het Verre Oosten. Uh, Japans en Chinees porselein was erg populair in het Nederland van de 17e eeuw en dat had natuurlijk een invloed op de lokale traditie. Sommige Hollandse motieven zagen er heel Chinees uit, terwijl andere de oorspronkelijke Italiaanse en Spaanse motieven vertoonden. En het was allemaal gebundeld in één traditie. <middels> 